Astronomically speaking, 2020 was a great year. We got to witness the closest conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, after 800 years. Apart from that, Comet Neowise visited the solar system after 6,800 years, and then we had the Geminid meteor shower, on the day of the solar eclipse. In 2021, we have not one, but seven planetary conjunctions, out of which three will be visible with naked eyes. Besides these conjunctions, there are many reasons to look up in the sky. So, here are the 10 most important astronomical events, that you should not miss this year. After watching the video, make sure you download any one of the space apps, given in the description. These apps will help you in quickly locating the planets, and other celestial objects. The first is the triple conjunction on January 10th and 11th. As Jupiter and Saturn are getting closer to the Sun, they will have a close encounter with the tiniest planet of our solar system, Mercury. On January 10th, Mercury will pass 1 degrees 39 to the south of Saturn, in the constellation of Capricornus as shown. The brighter of the two planets will be Mercury. The next evening, on January 11th, Jupiter will pass 1 degrees 28 to the north of Mercury. Of all the three planets, Jupiter will be the brightest, followed by Mercury and Saturn. To see the triple conjunction, look in the southwest direction, soon after sunset. This will be the last chance to see the two gas giants in the next few months. With respect to the Earth, they are now in the opposite part of the solar system, and will be hidden in the glare of the Sun. The next are the four supermoons. A supermoon is a rare celestial event, in which a full moon coincides with the moon's perigee. We know that the moon's orbit around the Earth is not circular, but elliptical. The point of closest approach to the Earth is known as perigee. If the moon happens to be at its full phase at perigee, we see a supermoon that is about 14% larger, and 30% brighter than when it is at the farthest point. In 2021, there are four supermoons in a row, on March 28th, April 27th, May 26th, and June 24th. Number 3, the Lunar Occultation of Mars. On April 17th, Mars will disappear behind the Moon, as seen from some parts of the world. An occultation is an astronomical event, that occurs when one object is hidden by another object, that passes between it and the observer. The term occultation is mostly used, whenever the Moon passes in front of a star or a planet, as seen from the Earth. Since the Moon lies closer to the Earth than the planets, its position in the sky varies by a few degrees, for observers at different locations. The April 17th occultation of Mars will be visible from some parts of Asia, as shown in this image. The Moon will be five days old, and the red planet will disappear behind the unilluminated side, and reappear from behind the illuminated side of the Moon. The fourth on the list is the conjunction of Venus and Mercury. On May 29th, the two innermost planets of the solar system will pass within 0 degrees and 24 minutes of each other. Lying in the constellation of Taurus, they will be visible in the evening sky, and will set in the west about an hour after the Sun. They will be close enough to fit in a telescopic view. The brighter of the two planets will be Venus. It won't be that easy to spot the planets, as they will be about 10 degrees above the horizon on that day. Number 5, Venus and the Beehive Cluster. On July 3rd, Venus will pass Withing a mere 22.4 arc minutes of the Beehive Cluster. Also known as M44, the Beehive Cluster is an open cluster of stars, that is visible with naked eyes. It is one of the oldest star clusters, known to mankind. The two celestial objects will be close enough to fit in the view of a telescope. Look for them in the west, as the dusk sky fades. Both objects will lie in the constellation of Cancer. Venus will be brighter than any other speck of light. The sixth astronomical event on this list is the conjunction of Mars and Venus. Just 10 days after having a date with the Beehive Cluster, on July 13th, Venus will pass close to the Red Planet. On this occasion, Venus and Mars will be just 0 degrees and 29 minutes of each other. Both the planets will be visible, for about an hour and a half after sunset. Look for them in the west, in the constellation of Leo. The brighter of the two will be Venus. It won't be difficult to spot them, as they will be about 30 degrees away from the Sun. The pair will be close enough to fit in the view of a telescope. Number 7, the opposition of Jupiter and Saturn. A superior planet is said to be at the opposition, when it comes in straight line with the Sun and the Earth. On this occasion, the Earth lies in between the two bodies as shown. Saturn will be at opposition on August 2nd and Jupiter on August 20th. Hence, the two gas giants will make their closest approach to the Earth, in a span of just three weeks. At the opposition, since the planet lies opposite to the Sun, 
It rises in the east at sunset, reaches its highest point in the sky around midnight and sets in the west at dawn. It's the best time of the year to photograph the planets. They appear the brightest at opposition. The eighth on the list is the lunar occultation of Venus. On November 8th, the moon will pass in front of Venus creating a lunar occultation, visible from parts of Eastern Asia. The moon will be three days old. Look for them in the constellation of Sagittarius as the dusk sky fades. The two will set in the west about three hours after sunset. By November, Venus will dazzle as an evening star. At a magnitude of minus 4.5, it will be the brightest object in the night sky after the moon. On the ninth spot, we have the eclipses. There are four eclipses taking place in 2021, two of which are solar. The first eclipse will occur on 26th of May, on the day of the supermoon. It will be total lunar eclipse, lasting more than three hours. The first eclipse of the year will be visible from Oceania, the Americas, and Eastern and Southeast Asia as shown. On June 10th, an annular solar eclipse will take place. It will be visible over parts of Canada, Greenland, Russia, Europe, and the United States. Out of all these places, only Canada, Russia, and Greenland will observe the Ring of Fire. From other sites, a partial eclipse will be visible. The second eclipse of 2021 will last over five hours. The third eclipse of the year will be a partial lunar eclipse, visible over Oceania, the Americas, Eastern Asia, Northern Europe, and Indonesia. At the time of the maximum eclipse, 97% of the moon's disk will lie in shadow. The fourth and final eclipse of 2021 will take on December 4th. It will be a total solar eclipse that will last over four hours. Unfortunately, it will be visible only from Antarctica. Do not attempt to look at the solar eclipse with naked eyes, or through a telescope, without a solar filter. You may end up permanently damaging your eyes. Last, but not the least, the meteor showers. Although dozens of meteor showers will take place in 2021, make sure you don't miss the three most significant ones. The first is the quadranted meteor shower, that will reach its peak activity on January 3rd and 4th. Quadrantids can produce between 60 to 200 meteors per hour. They are best viewed from the Northern Hemisphere. You don't need any telescope or binoculars to watch the shower. Just find a dark place, away from city lights, and give your eyes at least 30 minutes to adapt to the darkness. The second is the Perseid meteor shower that will peak on August 12th. Perseids can produce up to 150 shooting stars per hour. Unlike the quadrantids, they reach their peak activity when the nights are pleasant. This year, the moon will be just three days old, and will set way before the shower produces its best displays. Hence, you have the opportunity to see even the faintest streaks across the sky. The last in the list is the Geminid meteor shower that peaks on December 13th to 14th. It is often regarded as the best meteor shower of the year. Last year, Geminids peaked on the day of the total solar eclipse, that is, on the new moon day. Unfortunately, this year, moonlight will present significant interference. But, the shower is strong enough to display up to 150 meteors per hour. If you enjoyed this video, press the like button and in the comments section below, let us know which of these events is your favorite.